Hello, welcome to Mastery and Guideline in Ultrasound and Echo. Today we are going to answer to this question. What does an ultrasound image represent of? In other words, what we are looking at? Short answer is an, an, Im, an image that has been created from cross-section surface of an stru a structure that has been targeted by probe. In fact, all uh, three diagnostic imaging techniques, including MRI, CT scan, and ultrasound, they do the same, all of them. Not literally, but metaphorically. They cut the structure in a specific plane and taking a picture from that cutting surface in grayscale. That is the point both of all these three type of the diagnostic imaging do. As we know, we have three main uh, three three main plane anatomic plane uh, sagittal, coronal and axial or transverse. For example, here on the MRI in this image, we have three images, one in axial plane, sagittal plane, and coronal plane. Or here on CT scan, uh, this axial, this is axial plane. So in axial plane on CT scan here, in uh, every two or three millimeter, depending on the resolution of the machine, the machine metaphorically cut that that spot of the body and create an image from cross section or cutting surface and we will see it on an image like this. It looks like we are watching from the foot and see here anterior or front of patient, right of patient and left of patient and posterior or back of patient. An image is a grayscale of the structure uh, from that surface, cutting surface. Or here we have an uh, interface of liver and kidney from a specific plane, and you will see liver and kidney in grayscale level. I would like here uh, bring up a clinical tip, useful tip. If you are working as a, a sonographer or ultrasound tech in hospital, and you have uh, you have to do a study on a patient. Most of those patients they have other uh, imaging study too. So look at to those on their file in PAC system, like maybe you can see CT scan or MRI. If you have enough knowledge, anatomic knowledge, you can read not exactly like the radiologist, but you can find exactly what is going on and it gives you a lot of information when you are going to do ultrasound. Now let's see what exactly cross-section surface mean. Here we have a cucumber, has two axes, long axis and short axis. If we cut the long axis of the, this cucumber at midline, we will see a cross-section surface like this. This is a cross-section surface or cutting surface. And if we take a picture and make it grayscale, it gives us like this. Meta metaphorically, ultrasound and other two, two diagnostic imaging do exactly the same. Is exactly the same. And here, if we get short access and get it an image and make it the grayscale, we have this image and exactly is similar to the, those three diagnostic techniques. Yet, maybe you have come to this question that when we cut a structure, we have two parts. We, we divided that structure too. Okay, we, we, we say that creating image from cross-section. Which cross-section surface? Because we have two. If we get a picture from this, this part, this part, the on image that stem side will be on the left. If I take it cross section from the other side, the stem of your tail of this cucumber will be on the right side. So, which part cross section we take image on the ultrasound? We will all go shortly answer to this question. 
or here we have uh, orange and we cut it in the different plane and we will get uh, some 2d image like this now let's see this cross section how you at applies on human here we have some kidney three kidney and if we cut the kidney in coronal plane long coronal plane this is hyalum so if you cut the play on a plane that pass here cutting from the hyalum side to the lateral border we will get such this coronal uh, coronal cutting surface and if we do uh, ultrasound kidney on coronal plane exactly we will say the same image on gray scale pattern even more detailed because this is in vivo this is in vitro so there are a lot of uh, differences but anyway this is exactly it looks like we're cutting the kidney in the coronal plane and take a great a grayscale picture or here we have liver if we're cutting we have this texture and structure on the cutting surface and make it 2d grayscale and ultrasound will be the same pattern and texture on the image now as we see on the image monitor it has four sides top close to the probe left right and bottom and always will be the same it doesn't matter how we hold the uh, what plane we took that picture in other words if i cut the liver this plane uh, st still this top is top left is left right and the same all so on but on the reality the anatomy will be different the direction of the structure we get it so how we can correlate each side of the image to the real anatomy for uh, for solving this uh, problem this uh, the imaging system and ultrasound and other uh, technique has been standardized so let's see how it work each probe has three parts tip body or handle and tail at the tip of the probe there is a surface we call footprint that sound come out from this surface and it has two axes long axis and short axis we have generally two type of the ultrasound probe or transducer intracavity and extra cavity probe intracavity are the same almost the same as the extra cavity but they have longer handle or body and smaller footprint on extra cavity probe we have three main type of the probe vector linear and kelvinier the pattern of the sound that come out from the probe that is parallel to the, you know, is on the a plane on a plate plate and is parallel to the long axis of the footprint and we call it array or sector vector probe has pie shaped sector linear has rectangle and kelvinier has almost trapezoid the differences on this sector is that that at the center this direction of the parts wave is straight and for, uh, perpendicular to the surface of the footprint but uh, at the other side become diverged so at the right side goes pointing to the right and the left side pointing to the left on linear sector all ultrasound parts and wave are parallel to each other and perpendicular to the surface of the footprint and kelvinier again is divergent okay and now here we know in the control panel of the machine there is an option with two options two knobs or option depth and width with those two knobs or option we can change the size of the sector we can change the size of the sector make it longer or wider with the width or narrower or shorter with the depth just with the depth and width so we can change it vector probe has smaller footprint so usually we use on echo or those study that had small window like the intercostal for the spleen or 
sometimes even for the uh, liver and uh, for transcranial. Linear use, usually used uh, in the, for small parts, superficial, uh, musculoskeletal, and vascular study. And Kelvinier is in other study like the abdomen, OBGYN, and so on. At the one side of the long axis of the tip of the probe, there is a marker, depending on the vendor. It can be like the ridge, like the knob, groove, or LCD light, and this is marker. Meanwhile, on the monitor, on image, there is a marker too. That can be by letter or by a symbol. In this way, machine tell us, tells us that the side of the uh, marker image will show on which side of the monitor. For example, on this image, the uh, machine show the marker side of the image. For example, here, if the marker side will be here, the image that will be created from this side will show on the right of this image and the other side to the left of the monitor. And in this one, the marker side image will show on the left side of the monitor and the other side at the right side of the monitor. Now let's see in different probe how orientation of the image of IVC will show, will be. Here at the top we will see is that the IVC image by a vector probe in a cardiac study or echo study and mark is on the right side. The bottom image is, has been done by a Kelvinier probe in abdomen study and the marker as a standard general agreement uh, on the abdomen study and non-cardiac study marker will show on the left of the monitor marker side of the image on the left monitor and in transthoracic uh, we will show the marker at the right side of the monitor now in both of these for getting the ivc long axis of the ivc we point the marker toward the head so the marker side will be head in both of them in this vector or echo study ivc the marker side at the right side so this is head of the patient right side of the monitor is head of the patient toward the head and left side is toward the foot so uh, based on this orientation i know this is anterior top of the image this is posterior at right side is toward the head so i know this is right atrium and here is distal of the ivc but on the abdomen study for ivc as you know the head marker side head is here left side of the monitor so this is right atrium and this side is toward the foot or distal of the IVC, but here top is uh, anterior and the bottom is posterior. Now let's see how this concept of cross-section applies for the echo study. As we know, the heart has two axes too, one long axis and perpendicular to that short axis. In long axis of the heart, is uh, oriented from to the right shoulder and left hip or almost 10 30 o'clock and for for uh, 4 30 o'clock and the left uh, short axis of the heart is almost parallel to the or you know, pointing to the left shoulder and right hip of the patient so if i want to get a long axis view of the heart on parasternal window that is parasternal because next right or left of the sternum we call para mean next to so i put the probe at the left parasternal at the level of four or five doesn't matter depending on the body habitus of the patient and point my marker to the uh, right shoulder and the other side automatically uh, point to the left hip and uh, my probe is perpendicular to the skin of the patient in this way, I, my sector, sector of the uh, probe pass through in this line and it looks like cutting the heart at this uh, inserted image. You see, cutting the heart at this plane. Now, 
and from cross section of this plane machine create an image and if you go to look at the real heart in and cut it in long axis it looks like this exactly we have cutting the heart in cadaver uh, in long axis per external long axis that we will see here imagine his anterior and this is uh, plaques or personal lung access we have this structure part of the right ventricular actually rvot more accurate rvot or right ventricular outflow tract we have ivs or interventricular septum we have posterior wall we have left atrium we have aorta we have cusp two cusp here right coronary cusp and most probably this is left non-coronary cusp and this is anterior mitral valve leaflet some papillary muscle here and here a little you can see posterior mitral valve leaflet and if you go see that image on ultrasound and echo you will see exactly the same structure rvot ivs and uh, posterior valve mitral valve leaflet and so on and if you go to the clips and see let it play and you will see those, those structure closing aorting cusp mitral valve opening and closing posterior and septum if you look at this clips or image you will see and notice that there is a difference between this image and this real cross section of the heart what is the differences now i am going to be more accurate if you remember at the beginning, we uh, we explained that the ultrasound create image from cross section, cross section. In other words, ultrasound can image at that surface that has the sector of the probe pass through and cut the that structure. Here, on the depth or Z axis because the, it is photo so it takes some uh, light from the deeper structure and come and you will see but in ultrasound this structure deep uh, here for example some corda tendini here small or even this papillary muscle in this cross section we haven't cut this papillary muscle or this only that cross section surface in other words only those structures that sector or we cut it only here for example on aorta we don't see the surface because ultrasound didn't pass through that we have just cutting this line and this line or the aortic valve only we cut we see this cross uh, this surface cutting surface or cooptation not inner side or here trabuculation we don't see that z axis here that is the reason on the real photo with created image is a little looks like difference because those uh, structure that in this area are out of the uh, sector plate that is the reason if here you can see because the heart moving sometime that part of the popular muscle heart a little move or pay uh, the because contraction a little access change so some part of the papillary muscle come to the view and the sector of the probe pass through that and create image sometimes not that is the reason and here with this blood fluid on echo on any blood and fluid uh, like the water or blood will be on echo on the image that is the point of the cross-section surface image i hope you understand that very well here the, for example in apical view we're putting the probe at tip of the at the apex of the heart and then we point to the marker to the right the, and pointing the whole uh, probe to the right scapula or right shoulder so our uh, sector plate cutting in this way and it looks like uh, we are uh, cutting if you put up this uh, this plate put up and a little turn it to the right it give us this uh, pattern four chamber we call it four chamber view and this is a real cutting hard in the four chamber view because the market is right side so this is a right a left of the patient because this is left of patient this is 
right of the patient and is you putting up just only pull up the part one the top one to the up so this is left of the patient and right of the patient left ventricular left atrium right ventricular right atrium uh, and so on and if you look at the uh, apical four chamber view you will see exactly the same again cross section surface image but show in the clips or real time now let's go answer to the first question we go when we are talking about cutting we are watching to which part surface because if i cut long axis here i am cutting the heart in two parts left my my right part and my left part or right part on the patient and left part on the uh, patient so when i take a parasitic long axis view i am looking at cross section of which part here you are looking at the on the echo you are looking and the parasitic long axis you are looking at the cross section uh, surface of the right part in other words it looks like on the plaques when you are watching monitor it looks like you are sitting on the left shoulder of the patient here and cutting this metaphorically you cutting this part and throw away and watching the surface cutting surface of the this right part or here as you see or on the uh, here again on the apical you are cutting the heart and you are watching the cross section surface of top one and in short axis if you want to know in short axis you are sit uh, cutting the heart in short axis here and watching from the foot of the patient in other words if you go real anatomy if you go back here on short axis he, this cutting short axis you are sitting on the for example here on the left hip of the patient cutting hard in two part you throw away the below the tip one throw away and you are cut, uh, watching uh, top surface cutting surface don't forget it the, uh, the accurate the accurate description for the ultrasound image will be this an image that has been created created from only and only cross section only cutting surface not anything else now let's go a little det more detail in uh, cross section when we talk cross section exactly which structure in each plane uh, our sector pass through and what those structure and how we can maneuver i hope you enjoy this uh, lecture and it was useful and give us a, f a feedback up to next time have a wonderful time